Welcome to our video walkthrough of our Willoughby Granada 35x12 2 bed from 2001. It's priced at 8895 and it's got double glazing and gas central heating. So we've updated the video or doing an updated video because we have fitted new carpet throughout and we've also replaced the living and dining area upholstery. So it's looking much nicer than it was before. We'll see a little bit of an older caravan um, so we've come in, spent a bit of money to tidy it up and uh, it looks a much nicer prospect now. So as you can see with the brand new upholstery, there's no real reason to highlight it and show you any holes or, uh, or problems because it is brand new. There's nothing to worry about there. We do have matching headboards, um, headboards, pelmets, sorry. One's just for the falling off the Velcro there, so they just need refitting like the one over there in the corner. Opposite the um, living upholstery area here, you've got lots of cupboard storage. You've got an electric fire there. Um, as it's gas centrally heated, we've also got a gas radiator there by the exterior door. We've got two exterior doors, one that comes into the living room here and then one that comes into the hallway. Walking up from the living area then to show you the dining area with the matching upholstery that we fitted and as I say, this new grey carpet, which really does uh, do, do wonders for improving a caravan with a bit of new carpet. Um, it's crazy how much nicer they can look when they've got that. Um, kitchen area then we've got lots of kitchen cupboard storage here uh, with a window there for your washing up views and um, we've got a space on the right hand side for an under counter fridge or you could remove the the worktop there and uh, and make a um and make it a, a bigger fridge freezer we've got the left hand side here we've got this range style looking oven it's the country leisure duo 75 which uh wow what a model um this one is not really a range cooker but it looks like it um so uh you've got four burner hob and then you've got the two your grill and your oven and i think you just got a bit of a warming area on the left hand side so that's the only real difference to um what you normally get in a caravan but people always think they look quite nice and so that's cool um kitchen storage then going through from the kitchen area we've got a, a door separating off in our living room and bedroom area um, these internal doors do have a bit of delamination um, radiator there i'll show you in a minute you can see the doors are not brilliant condition um, like here where the laminate's just come off um, split from the corner it's like it in a few places to be honest again at the bottom of this door because they are coming away i think really best case you would just strip all of this stuff off these internal doors like this one because it's all coming off anyway. Strip all this off and just roll these doors with a cream or white paint um, and you'd be good to go again. Um, I don't think that would take too much work, really. Main bedroom here at the back. So we've got no bed in here. We took the bed out because it was pretty rubbish um, when we changed the carpet. So it's just an empty room now ready for you to fit your own bed into if you want to. Um, but we've got main bedroom. We've got storage above the bed and to the sides as well, as you can see. Plenty of storage in here. You could take that headboard away if you want to. If you wanted to fit a wider bed as well, you could take these bedside tables out as well. It's hard because when there's no bed in here, you've got no concept of the size of the room. It looks quite small without a bed in here. Um, but obviously there was a bed in here to begin with. So um, clearly there one will go back in. Turning then, this is a Jack and Jill bathroom. So there's a door in from the main bedroom into the bathroom. There's also one from the twin room, uh, the hallway, sorry. Coming out of the main bedroom, back into our hallway area. I think there was some furniture fitted to the wall here. We've got a few screw holes and things and the skirting's missing a bit in the corner. So I think there's probably a unit there that's gone. And then our twin room is here. As I say, another space here. Either you could fit two singles or we, you could fit a, uh, a double in here instead if you wanted to, depending on who's sleeping in there. And then turning around, we've got our wardrobe. Bit of damage to the side. I don't know whether they've had a TV or something there with wiring running through the middle. But uh, we've got a window there on the door side of the caravan. All fairly self-explanatory. And then I'll head over here through the hallway door here, show you this Jack and Jill bathroom. Like I say, so you've got an entrance there from the main bedroom to make it an ensuite if you wanted to, or you can keep that locked and use it as a, a main bathroom. There is only one toilet and uh, bathroom just to highlight that, just to save any confusion. Um, it's just that it's entered from the hallway or the main bedroom. Shower and toilet and sink. It's a good size shower actually. It's a hot, it's a smaller shower door that pivots from the left hand side, but once you get in there, as you can see, um, it's a good size shower. So that's the inside of our Willoughby Granada. We will head out and look around the outside. Outside of the Willoughby Granada, then just looking around the panels, show you the condition 
Um, I think this was one of the caravans that had this red stripe that goes around the whole of the caravan, which looks like they have painted over it, as you can see underneath there. Perhaps just didn't like the red or orange and have uh, put their own uh, cream color paint on it, or the red has been coming off, I'm not sure which. Um, but either way, you've got the remnants of a red stripe that goes all the way around the caravan. Someone might have tried to remove it or they've painted over it. Um, I'm not sure which, as I say, um, but just highlighting that. Um, a bit tight around the back here to show you the condition of the panels, but the panels all look okay. There's a few lumps and bumps, small dimples and things, obviously with the fact that it's 20 years old, so there's going to be, or more, there's going to be a few little nicks here and there, but in general, there's no bad damage or holes in the panels or anything like that. Got a big wooden block here, which probably was used to have the um, reg gas regulator fitted. And then we've got new retainers that we need to fit to these uh, doors. Dropping down to look at the chassis. It's a standard painted chassis, but as you can see, it's all solid. They get a bit of surface rust over the years, um, but the, the actual metal itself is absolutely fine. It's solid. So that is our 2001 Willoughby Granada 35 by 12 two bed. It's got double glazing, it's got gas entry heating, it's priced at 8895 As I say, it's got that brand new upholstery and carpets throughout as well. Um, if you've got any questions about the process or anything to do with this caravan or any others, please reach out, let us know. Only to be happy to help. Have a wonderful day. Until next time.